For Wall Street Media, I'm Mike, I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you can't find anywhere else. Hello, my friend. Oh, that hurt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Germans are not as tough as they once were. All I right, all right. Bad. We got news and highlights and video highlights from the Roth conference. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. From California. From California. It's like magic. Yes. It's the Business Industrial Conference? Is that no, what it is? No, it's the 21st Annual Growth Conference. Right, that's what I meant. Read into my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first up, we have a video of Charles Brown, President and CEO of Flow International, ticker FLOW. He talks about the company's strategic plans for growth. Let's take a look. Shifting now briefly to our strategic plan, we kind of break it down into the who, the market requirements, the what, the strategies that will uh, allow us to address those market requirements, and those come in three elements, and I'll take you through these briefly, the commercial strategy, the technology, and then the operations. And then we have the how element, which are some common elements of, of, of how we uh, go about accomplishing, accomplishing these things within flow. So I'll briefly cycle you through this just to give you a feel for where the company is going in the future. We talked about the customer segmentation and market requirements, the four segments, economy, standard, production, and advanced. And so we try to build all of our strategies from the outside in with the, the customer in mind first. The commercial strategy is what I've mentioned now is the full continuum, addressing the full range in order to capture anyone that has a need for a water jet, get them into the family, and then we get those repeat purchases, the, the parts business, et cetera. It's a, an important part of our, our strategy. Uh, you might be able to think about this category uh, maybe like the automotive category 30 or 40 years ago where there was foreign competition that was at the low end when, you know, back when they had Datsun and, and Honda and things like that that was just the low end product. Uh, well, we have that situation with the Asian manufacturers hitting in at the low end and by uh, bringing ourselves together with the Asian manufacturer, the leader in that category, in that segment, Dardi, we're able to uh, get out ahead of the game and create a worldwide power that can handle all uh, port points on the continuum uh, for the long-term benefit of our shareholders. Our the, the, the growth that comes in our commercial strategy really comes from two areas. It's, it's really a classic depth and breadth. We, c we have the ability to further penetrate proven opportunities, as I mentioned, the job shops who just don't have a water jet, as an example. And then there's breadth, which is one of the other ways that Flow has grown historically and we will continue to. By introducing new technologies like the 87,000 PSI, that opens up new uh, end user applications and it, it allows us to replace other cutting technologies in, in many different applications. And so we're able to broaden ourselves by driving the technology curve. And we're back. Hey, these guys, you must know something because uh, they are the only stock in the universe uh, that's up today, and they're actually up 6%. Wow. People like what you had to say. Absolutely. That's how this right. works, guys. And now it's your chance. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We also have a couple of highlights. Here, here we go. George Berrios, CFO of World Wrestling Entertainment, talked about the company's $1.44 dividend, which represents about 16% of the current share offering. He talks about the migration to a new toy developer, Mattel, in January 2010, which will give them better distribution and economics. He said they look to double their international revenues from 2006 to 2011 and said they look to decrease overall expenses by 20 million. And they're working on a very good deal that we know about as well. Yes, they do that nobody knows about and it's a big secret. <laughs> Christy Shu, Executive Vice President of Finance and Investor Relations of Harbin Electric, ticker HRBN, believes uh, its new t uh, tower type oil pump patent in 2007 has huge market potential. They are also testing linear motor train systems for the Beijing Airport Express, which is expected to be completed in the uh, second or third quarter in 2009. Yeah, I like these guys quite a bit, man, and they're working on infrastructure, and China has a real stimulus program hmm. uh, going on where they're actually going to build out mm -hmm. roads and trains and that kind of thing that will actually help. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unlike uh, in the U.S., you mean? Yeah. Yes. Well, the stimulus bill was just signed, for those of you who just missed it, um, <coughs> and uh, the Dow and the NASDAQ are plunging straight down. Can you say Dow 6,000? You will be <laughs> able to soon. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Joe Rotunda, president and CEO of EasyCorp, ticker is EZPW, spoke about their recently completed two key acquisitions, Pawn Plus with 11, uh, 11 Las Vegas locations on the 13th of November last year, and Value Pawn with 66 U.S. and one Mexico stores 
on uh, New Year's Eve, actually. <clears throat> he also discussed the merits of payday loans and uh, boasts consistent earnings over 26 quarters. Now, you know what? I was wondering if all these uh, television commercials, you're not American, so you don't live on television, um, <laughs> for the cash for your gold, mail it in, right. um, were hurting them. But I saw recently that there's been a bunch of scandals with, with these ones. So I guess these guys, you know, are, are probably still doing very well. I actually saw that commercial and I see scandals is actually part of that commercial, I think. Yeah, they really, <laughs> there, there were some pretty big scandals on that stuff mm -hmm. recently. Broke by, by uh, bloggers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess people want to be with these guys who are, who are a lot <laughs> more legitimate. Great. <coughs> we have AJ Mera, uh, Executive VP of OSI Systems, ticker OSIS, talked about the future growth of their ele electronic security systems business, uh, the likely impact of the government stimulus package on airport security and the company's pro um, position to create the next generation of security, including explosion detecting devices and baggage and personnel inspection systems. Selvin Joffe, uh, CEO of Motor Car Parts of America, ticker MPAA, spoke about their new facility in Mexico to produce starters and alternators, which will enhance their capacity to service the car repair industry in the U.S. The economic recession benefit the company as the car sales drop and owners focus on parts replacements, delivering an estimated 26% growth in business over the next three years. I can <laughs> see that. These are one, I'm going to take a look at this. I'm going to listen to the whole presentation. Mm -hmm. I can absolutely see that, where people are not buying new cars, so they have to replace some parts of the old cars. Absolutely. absolutely Tough times, that. man. We saw today Boston Properties is going to leave an unfinished <laughs> skyscraper right. on 55th Street in Midtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Today, uh, we're officially a third world banana republic. <laughs> <laughs> and our little king mayor, our little king mayor, uh, uh, went against the voters, uh, what, three times now? And he's going to mm. run for a third term? Yeah, that's nice. Thomas Evans, uh, president and CEO of Bankrate, ticker R-A-T-E, spoke about their launch of a new beta site with its new editorial areas that will be better placed to service consumers. They are also positioned to better monetize the high level of traffic they face as more people seek refinancing opportunities in the current economic climate. I, I like Bankrate quite a bit. We've been working f with them for years, mm -hmm. right? And, and they're always smart and, and good professional managers. Yeah. Th they always seem to be adjusting before you would think, oh gosh, they should be adapting mm -hmm. to this environment. They mm -hmm. always seem to be ahead of us. Great. Thomas Besson, CFO of Cash America International Inc., uh, ticker CSH, explained that with the Mexican market being uh, fragmented and not experience a lot of change, they see a chance for growth. They are expanding to Australia and Canada and through the storefront uh, and through the storefront and online business. Steve Taylor, Executive Vice President and President Energy Services of Nalco Holding Company, ticker NLC, talked about priorities for 2009, saying they look to improve safety, improve productivity, generate, uh, generate focused profitable growth, improve cash flows, and improve customer service, technology, employee engagement, and the brand. Anything else they need to improve? Hey, German. <laughs> the, I didn't make that sentence up. <laughs> That's actually that wasn't a sentence. That was actually a book. <laughs> they are looking to take their existing technologies into new markets. <laughs> for those of you who would like, Mike, we'll be around for another five hours if you'd like to listen to him talk. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. We're done. We're done with notes. <laughs> Just dabbling. <laughs> okay. Um, Guys, don't forget, check out StockTwits.com. I've been finding some great ideas on there and some, some very clever people. Um, don't forget, uh, did you give out the URL to watch the whole thing for this No, one? I didn't. Uh, for anyone that's interested, you can go to wsw.com slash webcast slash Roth20. I, I definitely think you should. I'm going to go right now and go listen to the whole presentation for mm -hmm. uh, MPAA. I, I think that they will benefit from the, uh, the bad uh, economy ahead mm -hmm. of us. Great. Yeah, well done. Uh, Roth are great at putting these together. We'll be back later with more, but for now, that's all we have. We're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at wsmco.com. Thanks.